Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to user one productions. My name is David and in today's quick unity tutorial We're gonna be looking at a quick little dialogue system This is gonna be a system where say you walk into a room and it's dark a little text displays on your screen saying the room is dark This could be used as a hint system for your character or just to lifen up the game a little bit and kind of give your player a little bit of dialogue like I said, this can be used for hints or maybe how your player is feeling at the current moment of the game. As always, my friends, if you come to like this video, please remember to drop me a like. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss another upload by me. And keep in mind, everything I use in this video, script, models, sound effects, it's all going to be linked on a Google Drive for a free download. And that is linked in the description down below. Without further ado, let me show you the finished product and then we can go on to the quick tutorial. So here we are in our Unity test scene that we have been slowly developing. And what I've gone ahead and done is over here behind the keypad door, I made this little room. And for demonstration purposes, we're going to act like this room is dark. Obviously, it's not going to be dark because my lighting is clearly not baked yet. Right over here, we have a keypad. If you guys want to see how I made this keypad, I have a tutorial on the channel for that. So let's open it up real quick. We're going to exit it. And now keep in mind, we're acting like this room is completely dark. Let's walk in and it says it's so dark in here and then it will go away after a couple of seconds. If we walk out and walk back in, the player will not repeat what he just said. Alrighty. This is super easy to accomplish. So we're going to go ahead and show you how I done this. What we're going to do first inside my first person controller, I have all these text objects and then I right clicked on texts, create a new empty and I just called that dialogues. And then I have one right here. I'm just going to call it dialogue 001. And inside, we're not going to have anything written because we're going to set that up with a script. For test reasons, I'm just going to type a little bit so you can see where I've oriented it on my screen, which is right there underneath the crosshair. You could put that wherever you want, above the crosshair, top right, bottom left, wherever you need it to go. Once you have your text in place, remember to delete everything in its text component right here. And then we want to keep it on, okay? Now we can close up the player once that's in there. And now we need to create a trigger. So what I did was inside this little hut area, I created a new game object called Room Trigger Dialog. It's just a cube that I have scaled accordingly to the room itself, and I've placed it inside for our player to walk in. On its collider, we want to make sure is trigger is turned on, and now we can go ahead and look at the script for it. This is a super quick and easy script, so we're going to go ahead and look at the top here with everything we can play around with. We have a public text game object, so that way we can identify which object we're going to be changing its text to. We have a public game object called activator this is going to be the actual collider that we have to walk into public string dialog equals dialog this is where you're going to be inputting in the editor what you want it to say and then we have a public float for timer and that's going to be able to be changed in the editor for how long you want the text to display on your screen in the start function we're going to grab that text game object and make sure the text is set false and then we have an on trigger enter and we pretty much are saying if our player collides with this collider that the script is attached to the text gets turned on and it gets put to whatever we tell it to say in the editor, what this dialogue is put to right here. And then we do a start coroutine for disabling the text. This is so we can have it on their screen for X amount of seconds that we can set. So in I enumerator, disable text, we have a yield return new, wait for seconds, and it's going to be waiting for a timer, which is right here. And then after that timer is finished, we turn the text off and then we destroy the activator. That way it only plays once. If you want it to play numerous times, you can just go ahead and delete this line of code right here for destroy. And that's about it for the script. Let's go back into the editor and set it all up. So on that game object, we're going to be walking into this trigger right here, the room trigger dialog. We have to set up text objects. So go back to your first person controller or wherever you store the text. And right here, dialog 001, I put that into text object. Activator object is going to be that room trigger dialog. That's the trigger that your player is going to walk into. And then right here in dialogue, type whatever you want it to say. So for example, I put quotes so that way we know our player's thinking or saying something. And you can have that say whatever. And then you have a timer for how long you want it on the screen for. So let's say I want it there for five seconds. And that's how you set up the script. Now, in order for it to work, make sure your controller or your player is tagged player okay or else it's not going to work because the script if we look at it again it's going to say if other that's going to be our collider game objects tag is player so that's why we need to tag him as player uh, a lot of scripts do this and it's going to be reused a lot so just make sure that the player that you're using is tagged player and now when we play the game 
and we walk up to that hut. Let's open it up again with the keypad. It's going to automatically display my text and then disappear after five seconds. It says subscribe to this channel. The text is very wise. And then after five seconds, it just disappears. Very nice. And that's going to be about it for this tutorial, you guys. This was a suggestion by a friend in Discord, so I really appreciate the suggestion. And I assumed if he had the question, maybe hundreds or thousands of people had this question as well. As always, my friends, you can find this script in the description down below on a Google Drive for a free download. It is going to be called Dialogue. As well in the description, you can find our Discord server with plenty of new and experienced game developers. I also post daily updates in there about the channel and just random stuff in there about questions of what you want to see, as well as we help everybody answer questions in there. Again, my friends, if you found this tutorial useful or helpful in any sort of way, please remember to drop me a like and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss another upload. And in the comments, let me know how you're doing with your series or any questions you might have, or if you just want to say hi, say hi. And with that, my friends, this is going to be the end of the tutorial. This is User1Productions signing off. Till the next time, peace.